Business. Act Digital economy itself is beginning to stay with us beyond just what we've known it to be. How prepared are we as a country and how prepared are we as a people to take advantage of some of those opportunities? This is so much more we're going to be exploring on this week's edition of Business Matters. My name is Stephen Ipalbo Lawson. You're welcome. Digital currency obviously is the currency for the digital world. Transactions are now going beyond bricks and potter. Are we going to leverage on what this digital opportunity brings or we are just going to follow on with the status quo? Let us have a business update. Super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel. Live more. As a tradition on business matters, we invite a professional who is distinguished in a particular field to explore the topic of the day. Let us have our professionals segment. All right, thank you very much for keeping tuned with us on Business Matters. Just like we've introduced, this is our interview segment. And joining me in the studio is no other person than a seasoned finance and investment professional with over 13 years' experience in the Nigerian financial market. And he has worked in different capacity um, in the Nigerian capital market as well. A trained accountant and a chartered um, stockbroker who is also an authorized dealing clerk of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, now Nigerian Exchange Group is a sponsored individual with the Securities and Exchange Commission and also an associate of uh, Chartered Institute of Securities and Investment in the UK. Currently, he is the Capital Market Officer of Ion Global Markets Limited, an issuing house. Uh, he serves as the investment and financial advisor to many SMEs. And interestingly enough, he's an entrepreneur who has a business in the bakery industry. A married man, of course, with three children. I'm talking about no other person than Mr. Showumi Samuel. And we're going to be looking at Inaira as a whole, given the fact that the country itself is where it is. You're welcome, uh, Mr. Uh, Samuel. How is it? Oh, fine. I'm very fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, how have you been coping with uh, the, the coronavirus issues? We know that we're now in the post pandemic era, and it has opened our eyes too much in terms of what digital economy can benefit the country as a whole. How has that been your experience so far? Um, like I uh, have said in so many fora, um, coronavirus uh, was a blessing in disguise because uh, it came in as a leveler, brought the whole world into their, to their knees in terms of uh, economy. And uh, it created avenues for the fintech industry to actually thrive. And that is one thing about pandemic, really. That is one thing about uh, the global economy. At times, things will happen that will spur all their you know, side of the economy the areas where you are not looking at. Now we are in the area of fintech. We are in the era of digital economy, which is the, the, the next level to go. 
Okay. You know, is a reality everybody must embrace. Must embrace. And that is it. Now, looking at it, one of it I believe that spawns out from that is the CBN um, issued uh, recently the digital currency, which in Naira um, has come to be known for. And so much has gone on, a lot of confusion, some things are not clear. And it's a good thing we have you in the studio to help us with what exactly in Naira is all about that the CBN actually floated. Oh, good. Um, the idea of the e Naira to a very large extent is a right step in the right direction. Um, just a few moments ago, I talked about the next level, which is, which is a digital economy. We cannot talk of a digital economy without having a digital currency. Mm. You understand? Because with digital currency, it makes it easier. It creates speed, fast efficiency, and uh, you know, cheap means of payment. And the uh, CBN coming up with that idea is just the right step in the right direction. There is no any other better time than now to start it. Because with the advent of e Naira, it, 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 it goes on to tell us that Nigeria is preparing itself for the future, which mm. is digital economy. So e Naira is, um, the dig is a digital currency of the CBN. It's a, a digital currency that ranks pari passu in terms of its purchasing ability, purchasing power with the current Naira that we have in the economy. It is just the digital form of okay. the normal Naira, okay. you understand? And um, uh, the, the initiative is all about creating, you know, an avenue for the purpose of financial inclusion. Okay, financial yeah, inclusion is very critical because very I think critical. as part of uh, the drive to help us attain the SDGs goals, exactly. um, there is a need for access to finance and of course you want to bring in more of the informal sector into the formal financial Fanta space. Fa fantastic. So that is the whole idea about uh, the e Naira is to, 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 to create an avenue where we'll be able to capture every facet of our economy into the financial economy. Mm -hmm. You see what happens in this country is that uh, a lot of financial activities happens outside the normal economy which is uh, it takes that takes place in the informal sector and because they takes place in in informal sector most of these transactions are not captured into the computation of our gdp and data is very important in, in order to even help you plan in terms of even what the total revenue that has actually been cropped into you know the financial post fantastic is, is so that is that is one of the the the, the 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 notion or the the idea behind that initiative which is a very very good one it is good because with this government stand a better chance to project into the future government stand a better chance to to make you know intervention fund available to the vulnerable members of the society because by the time we are able to bring them in with the, the, the space of e Naira, you'll be able to have a lot of these vulnerable members of our society captured and you'll be able to do whatever you want to do for, for in terms of social you know welfare seamlessly. seamlessly. Now one of the things that actually creates a whole lot of dust um, when you think about it, people wonder uh, because we know uh, as a matter of fact the Africa's largest economy being Nigeria has actually taken the first step. I, I imagine we're the first um, country to actually launch our own digital currency I don't think Ghana or South Africa or Kenya or whatever it is have done that. And so people wonder what exactly if they can compare in Naira to a cryptocurrency. You know, we, we had some kind of challenge in time past in terms of Bitcoin and there was a close down in that area. And then all of a sudden we have the in Naira. So are we saying now that uh, the government is diving into uh, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, you are the expert. Oh, uh, well, um e Naira is not the same thing as cryptocurrency, although okay. e Naira is built on the structure of cryptocurrency, which is blockchain technology. Okay. You understand? The e Naira is built on that, you know, technology. technology. Mm -hmm. But it is not the same thing as the regular Bitcoin. The e Naira is regulated. You understand? Okay. e Naira is regulated and a direct liability on the CBA. So the question is, who regulates cryptocurrency Currency. like Bitcoin? You okay. understand? Okay. So with e Naira, it is safe. It is traceable. It, it brings about transparency. Do you, do you understand? You can easily identify the parties to the transaction. You can easily monitor it. And with e Naira, you can control AML, money laundry and counter-terrorist uh, oh, financing. Great. Great. You understand? Which are not available in other cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, um, 
you know platforms, uh, platforms of, of, I mean, which is one of the reason why people are not really you know embracing crypt cryptocurrency because it is not regulated it is okay. very very risky but so are you are we're saying that inara is a digital currency but it's not necessarily a crypto a cryptocurrency it okay is so there are two different there are two different okay. things there okay, that's and we must understand that okay you understand inara is regulated cbn okay. is the backbone is the brain behind it you, it is traceable to CBN. Okay. You understand? It is a direct liability on CBN. CBN so, All right. who, who, who do you hold responsible for cryptocurrency? Crypto. Now, one of the things that is a little bit confusing for some of us is with regards to e-wallet. Uh, we know that the digital platform, which has been launched by different fintech, has actually helped to democratize financial payment. And, of course, um, that itself enables you to do your transfer by the push of a button on the short code. And people wonder... Um, they hear about e-wallet. So one of our audience actually asked and said, listen, is e-wallet any different from digital currency, as we will say the e-Naira is? Well, e-wallet, e um, for the purpose of e-Naira, is a structure that holds the access and that creates the use of the Naira. Okay. You understand? In a okay. digital form. Fun. That is, for you to be able to access your e-Naira, you must have a, a, an e-wallet you know account which is just a medium where your transaction takes place okay you understand and um, the the e-wallet what it, it does is that it's 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 it, it creates a peer-to-peer -peer transaction before you can transact before you can consummate a transaction it must be between you a holder of an e-wallet with another E, okay. e, e wallet e holder, which is e naira e wallet holder. Uh, okay. You understand? So with that, you can you can you can consume whatever transaction you want to consume. That e wallet is there for the purpose of that transaction to actually take place, for the payment system to actually take place. Okay. And that is why, for you to be able to access the e naira, you must register. You have you have to go through a registration process. You understand through the, to the uh, you, you download it on the app. On the Apple uh, or whatever. Or the Android, Apple, Android, um, uh, yes. Uh, so uh, when you download it, you make your regular registration. There are basic information that you have to to so supply for you to be able to to log on and be you know and your e-wallet will be created for you. Where the problem currently lies now is that CBN has to step up the game in making sure that it, there is a seamless you know connectivity and seamless application and adoption of this e naira and e-wallet platform because. Uh, uh, in the last few days, it has been very, very difficult. People have been finding it difficult to actually transfer money from their regular bank account into their e-wallet account. Mm -hmm. I, I also experienced yes. the same, uh, mm -hmm. you know, issue. And the issue has always been that by the time you you've signed up, you've completed your registration, you've had your everything you're supposed to have in terms of your login data, and then you now want to transfer money from your regular bank account into your e-wallet e -wallet account, it will now be requesting for your username and your password, which was not there as at the time you, are you doing, were doing the, you are doing the registration. So this is where CBN has to actually step up their game, making sure that there is an, an alignment between the CBN, the e-wallet platform, and the regular banks, you know, platform to create a seamless, you know, movement. Movement. And that customer experience is very key. But we're going to continue this conversation after this short break. Uh, viewers, please stay tuned. As you can see, the e-nara is a very interesting conversation. Please do not go away. As soon as we're back, uh, we will continue the conversation. Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is Business Matters, the premier platform for everything business. And joining me in the studio is no other person than a man that I hold in very high regard, Mr. Show Me um, Samuel, who, as a matter of fact, we've been looking at e Naira. Well, people have been wondering what exactly this e Naira is all about. Is it just digital currency, or there is some kind of cryptoness to it? And uh, earlier on, uh, you had you had clarified that. Yeah. And then we talked about um, so much more in terms of the seamless of operations that the CBN himself have to be very much aware about yeah. but one of the things I would like to find out is has to do with regards to risk 
And risk management in any transaction, in any business, is something that we have to be very concerned about. Sure. I mean, if you are able to take informed risk, you can be guaranteed of sustainability. The stability of whatever product or innovation you are unveiling or introducing to the market can actually be reliable. And so for e Naira, with some of these, will you call these um, two thin problems or we'll call them challenges that uh, may obviously affect the stability of um, the e Naira to become a, a highly adopted digital currency in Nigeria? Uh, well, it's, 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 it's just a simple challenge. And I think uh, it's a challenge that the CBN and the, the, the government as a whole should be able to tidy up within the space of days. And uh, having said that, the, the, the technology behind e Naira is, is, in fact, fantastically secured. Is a blockchain technology. Absolutely. It is a, a, a technology that is very, very difficult to cheat on. It is very, very difficult to hack. So there is a huge security that is embedded in the blockchain. You know, it's, it's, it's a peer-to-peer -peer thing. Transactions are intertwined between the sender and the receiver of the money. And the two of them, the two parties in here, are operating on a single ledger. So the, the, the CBN is, is playing a dual role here. Okay. The regulator, and at the same time, the provider is acting as the CSD. It's to create a kind of seamless, you know, transfer of payments, seamless transaction within a regulated space. Because if CBN does not come in, there, is, there will be chances for higher risk in terms of being used as an element for fraud, fraud being money used money. as an element for you know money laundering. Yeah, but how does how does that how does that all go well with fintechs? Wouldn't they cons consider that to be a direct competition of their service some offerings or products? Oh uh, well, to a very large extent, it it is not a direct competition in this space, okay. and it, it does not necessarily limit the capacity or the, the competitiveness of the fintech in the financial space. This will only enhance, encourage the fintech to also you know, you know, step up their games in terms of coming up with more sophisticated, you know, programs that will further enhance the existence of e Naira. You understand? But currently now we are starting on the platform that okay, for for you to be able to access, it must be a peer to peer. For you to be able to transact, you must be able to transact within the space that the next person, the the, the sender and the receiver must have an e wallet, uh, you know, account. Account. Okay. Going forward. Going forward, nothing will stop it from being a free, a free thing. You know, with time, regulation may be, might be tailoring down. With time, there might be innovation whereby we'll be able to, uh, you know, absorb other fintech to even come and play in it. But, you know, being a starting point now, it has to be controlled. It has to be well managed. It has to be well monitored so that we don't create an avenue for the people of the underworld to, yeah. to take advantage. Well, this... Um Kindly educate us, how does the A Naira uh, digital currency benefit somebody, for example, who has a DOM account, um, a domiciliary account, a dollar account, a foreign currency account? Is there some kind of correlation or any benefit with regards to that? Oh, fantastic. It's, it's one of the key reasons why CBN has, has come up with this for the people of easy remittance, for the, people, uh, for the purpose of um, uh, cross border transaction. You understand? The e Naira now provides a venue for people who uh, who wants to send money from abroad to their to their relatives in Nigeria. All they need to do is for them to also have an e Naira account. You understand? Okay. You can log on to the, you can tap into it. everybody around the globe can tap into it. Whether you have a bank account or you don't have a bank account, you understand only that there is limit to how each person, each categories of customer can play on the e Naira. There are four different categories of customers. Customers without bank and without national identity number. They have their limit of 20,000 of, uh, of a daily limit and a maximum daily account balance of 120,000. We have another set of customers with bank, with, without bank account but with NIN number. You understand, with a, a daily limit of 50,000 and a maximum of uh, 150,000. We have another tier of people with uh, bank accounts, which are, you know, they are not regular spender. They have limited uh, spending abilities. These ones have a higher daily limit and a higher, you know, daily account balance. Then we have the, the, the fourth uh, uh, tier of people, which is the, the, the people with, 
you know, regular spending ability with a, a daily limit of 1 million and 5 million naira daily account balance. The whole essence of this is for regulatory purpose so that we control it, so that we make sure that we know what people are doing with currency, so that we know that currency are not being used as a machine for terrorist financing and for money laundry activity. Now, we know, we know that the cashless policy, which was initiated by the CBN several years ago, um, obviously to see how we do more payment with um, um, through um, different payment platforms yeah. rather than by cash. Obviously, the e naira also seems to align along that, yes, same, yes, yes, yes. that same idea of yes, policy yes. as the case is. So, should we be in the future, we should be looking at a situation or scenario where we're no longer going to be carrying cash around? Yes, and that provides uh, security. It's a form of security on its own. And that is where the beauty of e naira is. Even when you lose your, your, your phone, your account is protected. Okay. okay. Do you understand your account is protected. That is one of the security behind this in area and why people should actually embrace, embrace it. it. Now, uh, but before we run up, because time is not our friend, this is a very interesting subject. I hope we could extend it. Perhaps my producer might consider um, re inviting you again to further discuss this. Now, we, we know the fact that inflation rate, GDP are economic elements of factors that we must be very concerned about. Yeah. The Naira, as a matter of fact, is obviously falling against the dollar, and in Naira has come on board. How do we see the impact of inflation also in in Naira? Would there be an exception to the rule? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we must understand that in Naira is just the digital form of your normal Naira. Right. Note. So it's so it it's carries the same power. purchasing power okay. with your normal Naira note. So as inflation is affecting your normal Naira note, it's affecting your e Naira. Okay, so, you there's, so no, e -Naira there's no is not, there's no hiding no, 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 there's no item place. <laughs> e Naira is not there to to, to melt down inf inflation. Great. It's, you know, it ran party per so your Naira note and your digital note are the same thing. That is the brain behind the uh, e Naira. That is the real and, idea. And you're, you're, you're saying to us that uh, my account can be hacked, my e Naira account can be hacked. It can be uh, hacked. It's like an encrypted end-to-end um, uh, -end, um, WhatsApp that. chat where whatever I chat with the end user or wherever it is yes even when my phone is stolen on my uh, account your is transaction is protected, is protected as case so that's that, that's the whole essence of the blockchain technology finally how do i for example get an inner account as briefly as you can uh, it's very simple okay. all you need to do is if you have your android phone you can go to your apple uh, your, your google play store you download the the app is there you download it you 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 follow through your registration process. There there are basic information you're going to supply your name, your BVN, you know details. You supply it. You then there is there is an OTP code that will be, that you are going to get through your email. Yeah, so at the end of it, you complete your regis e registration. Then the next phase is now for you to be able to to move your your money, your fund from your normal bank account with the commercial bank mm -hmm. to your e e naira account mm -hmm. which is where we say that cbn acts to to act very fast now to make it a seamless you know movement mm -hmm. all right thank you so very much mr i'm sure with me i'm um, samo it has been a wonderful engagement with you e naira is obviously here to stay here to and stay. we can only wish the cbn and the nigeria as a country a great success because at the end of the day it's going to benefit every one of us. Thank you one more time uh, for joining us on My Business pleasure. Matters. Please, sub viewers, uh, stay tuned. Business Matters continues after this moment. The e Naira is the digital currency which has been launched by the CBN. As a matter of fact, it's the first in Africa. And Nigeria being the giant of Africa in terms of economy, in terms of population, obviously is taking the right step in the right direction. We want to say kudos to CBN. So much more still needs to be done, no doubt. But we realize that the e Naira, which is the digital currency, is well positioned to ensure that we take advantage of the new opportunities that are being unveiled in this new digital economy that is coming to meet us in the future today. 
This is so much we can bring to you on Business Matters. Please follow us on all our social media handles and platforms as well as exploring our website for more details about our different programs. My name is Stephen Ipalabo Lawson. Until I come here again, bye-bye for now. <laughs>